Hi, in this short exercise, we're going to talk about extruding and applying 3D features to GIS data, whether it's raster format or vector format. Here you can see we have a couple different GIS data layers here. We have census tract data here, and we're looking at this in arc scene, which helps us to look at 3D visualization. You can see I've got a couple of different tools in my main toolbar here. So you can see that I rotate it here. And you notice here, these technically aren't maps, but really neat visualizations that we can make features with so we can use these for displays and presentations or other tools. People like to look at these things, even though they may not cartographically be maps because we don't have scale or anything like that. But these are really effective tools. First, we're going to look at vector features that we can extrude upwards here. And when I double click on my census features here, that brings up the properties. And you notice we have a couple of new tabs here that we can look at. We have, uh, we have our general we have our source, and we have some of these that we're kind of familiar with. We can see what we're looking at here when we look at our geographic coordinate system. We have our selection, display, symbology, and we've seen those before because I can click on my categories, my quantities. I can go here, and so let's just say we're going to look at median household income. And well, I'm going to color this in, uh, let's say green because, well, money's green. And these are by census tracts here. So now you can start to see census tracts by median household income here, and I can kind of rotate this around and all that too. Another thing that I can do is I can extrude these upward towards me. And if I double click on this here, you can see I can look at extrusion here. And it says extrude features and layer. Features turn points into vertical lines, lines into walls, and polygons into blocks. So now I can look at these 53 blocks or whatever it is. And this is just for Durham, the city of Durham. You can see all the areas here in green are Durham City, and I want to extrude it up by median household income. I do this for a couple of reasons. One is just we have we can see a general spatial pattern associated with this. And also since I clipped it at the the since I clipped it at the city boundary, I don't need to the normal median household income is it, it doesn't need to be normalized. So I don't have to go through and prorate it based on population or anything like that. Same if I were looking at um, median age or anything like that. You know, income or income's the same way. Okay, so I'm going to extrude it, and it asks me for a value of expression. Okay, and I, what I'm going to click on here is my median household income. Double click here, and when I click OK, click OK. Wow, I got something really strange here. Okay, it's going to extrude it up by 44,000, and I don't know what we're looking at here. So I have to look at the different types of units that we're looking at. Okay, so I can click here. Now, I really need to parse this down a little bit. So I'm going to divide it by, let me say, 100. Okay. okay, you can see here what I have going on here. Oh, this is kind of neat, but I want to extrude it up a little bit more so I can get a little more, uh, I can get a little more difference between the two here, a little more contrast bet between my highest and my lowest here. So I'm going to well, just divide it by 10 instead, okay, instead of 100. Okay, and you can see what we have here. I can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Okay, and you can start to see what I have here. Okay, and you can see obviously the darker areas are going to be extruded higher, the lighter areas are going to be extruded lower. Okay, but very powerful cartographic tool here, a very powerful visual visualization tool. So you can see over here, kind of around the periphery here, where they are darker and they are extruded higher, are high-income areas, where they're lower and lighter. And these are all low-income areas. Okay. The other thing I want to look at is elevation data here. Okay. Double click here. This is my elevation data here. So this is a, just the DEM that I have for Durham County here, and I can extrude it up this way. Okay. So you can see the tabs that I have for my raster layer properties a little bit different. Okay, I can look at something called base heights. And I'm going to just base it. And this is LiDAR data that I had here. Okay. And I can extrude it up this way, too. Okay, You can see what I have here. Um, it takes a little bit of time here. And when I zoom in, you can start to see the slight differences here. Okay, Very, very slight. Because Durham doesn't have a lot of relief here. And what I might want to do is raster resolution. I can give it an offset. Okay. I can also okay, apply a little bit more of a 
vertical exaggeration to this. Okay, so I can exaggerate it vertically a little bit more. Okay, and I can double click on this here. And I can, ex you know, maybe ten times. Okay, and you can start to see some of the differences that we have here. Okay, you can start to see some of the relief that we have going on in Durham County here. Okay, so this is ten times exaggerated ten times. Okay, and let me go back here. Okay, so this is exaggerated now about ten times. Another thing we can do is called draping. Okay, and you can see here when I uncheck this, now I have an image of D. Uh, this is a, a DOQ taken from their campus. Okay, let me just zoom in here. Okay, and you can kind of see campus right about. You can see campus right here. And I'll kind of turn it around here so I kind of face in a different direction here. Okay, and now I'm going to extrude this image. And I can also extrude lakes or rivers or anything like that based on this DEM. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to look at my base heights. And I'm going to base it off of this image right here. Okay, and I can open it up, or this layer here. So I'm going to look at my NCCU, my land modeling. This is the source destination destination for my custom surface here. Okay, I'm going to apply a uh, five-time exaggeration here. And now when I turn it on its side here, you can start to see kind of the hills and the valleys here that we have on campus here. So you can see down near the near the football field here at the bottom of the hill here in the parking deck right here and then you kind of walk up that hill over to Marytown Science Center which is located over here now keep in mind this is five times vertical exaggeration so we don't really see this in real life but I wanted to show this for my purposes right here okay, and I can kind of look at it here and zoom in here very very powerful tool extremely powerful tool and in addition to extruding raster images such, such as our DOQ or our TIFF image here. I can also extrude vector files so I can kind of drape river, so I can also drape you know, rivers and lakes and other physical fe surface features on top or like you saw before I can also go through and extrude polygon features so I can show some sort of thing at some sort of uh, phenomena at the enumeration 